So it's pretty funny. Uh, no matter what I do, people are not happy. So with Final Fantasy 16, all right, basically the game has way too many cutscenes. And the problem is that there's really exciting parts in there. Like there's actually good parts in Final Fantasy 16 that I'm really enjoying. But then they, they keep putting these little like like segments of cutscenes in there that in my opinion are just annoying and not very good. Um, and the side content as well, like the side missions I've done are complete wastes of time. So, you know, my, my complaint about Final Fantasy 16 is the moments that are great are great, but there's way too much filler between them. They really seem like they wanted to drag the game out with this incredible amount of, like, dialogue and stuff that really doesn't add anything. And, you know, it's not just me. It's the people watching my playthrough as well. They're like, yeah, the whole game's going to be like this. Everyone's criticizing you for it and, you know, just get used to it. But the high points are really good things, so you got to kind of tough through the more boring parts. So today we actually got to a more open world part of the game. We had the opportunity to travel all around the map and do whatever you wanted. And there was a bunch of side quests on the map. But people tell me, don't do them. They're like, literally, those are a waste of time. All they are are little busy work quests, a little bit of extra dialogue here or there. But they don't add really to the story overall. They're kind of side stuff that really doesn't necessarily um, add to the overall plot. You might have a little side story here or there that has a little bit of interest, but it's just nothing that's worth the time investment for it. You're going to get a tiny bit of experience. You're going to get a tiny bit of this or that, but you're not going to get much out of it, right? So I'm like, oh, okay. By the way, there's a pop-up for this uh, super chat, so I don't know why X Shooters didn't show up. But anyway, uh, I'll shout that out in a second. Uh, so I say, all right, we'll just go right to the next story. So I go literally right to the next story segment, and the next story segment's good. Like, I'm enjoying it. I'm like, wow, this is a great advancement. So I publish all the videos, and the first comment on the video is, oh, you skipped all the side content. You're rushing through games. I don't want to watch you play games anymore. And I'm like... You know, so if I had t took all my time with the game, oh, this game's boring, drop it because it's boring, there's too much crap. Okay, I'll skip the crap, I'll just do the story. Oh, you're skipping the whole game, don't play it anymore. <laughs> I just can't win either way. Just like, for example, with Zelda, right? We're Like I said, we're about 44 hours into the playthrough. Probably, I'm thinking probably it's going to be between 50, 55 hours to finish the game. That's my estimate at this point, okay? If I went full on world exploration. Imagine this. We were 45 hours and we've only done one to two of the major dungeons because we spent all this time doing tons of side content, tons of optional underground exploration and stuff. Like, Imagine if we're only halfway through the plot of the game right now and we've been playing this game for a month and a half. How many people would be complaining that I'm taking way too fucking long and everyone else beat the game and why the hell am I not getting further in the game? Right? It's like, I can't win. No matter what I do these days, people are complaining, and it's starting to piss me off. I'm being honest. Like, I'm tired of people just saying no matter what I do, it's wrong. You know? I'll give you another example. So, uh, as, as you know, if you watched my podcast earlier today, there was a pro Street Fighter player by the name of uh, Diaphone, I think their name is, and they actually asked permission to analyze some of my gameplay of Street Fighter VI, and I had given them permission, and they went ahead and did a video that they released like a day and a half, two days ago, uh, analyzing my gameplay. It's a very insightful video. It's it's smart. It's well done. There's no hateful content there. It's just them saying what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. I learned from the video as well as everyone else watching. Okay? Now, I didn't even know that the video had existed until you guys told me about it. So, last night I watched it and I actually left a nice comment on there telling them I really liked the video. I think you did a great job and you ever want to, you know, analyze my stuff further, I'm game. I give you my blessing to do it. You know, that's nice of you to do this. It's a nice thing. All the comments on the video are from completely brain-dead idiots. I'm not even kidding. Like, the, Okay, I take that back. The vast majority are. It's all my haters. They all went over there because it's a video about DSP. Oh, you see? Well, DSP is going to hate this video. He's going to say that this guy stole his content and is doing nothing but, you know, saying bad things about him. Now, first of all, the video has nothing negative in it. How could I even say that? Plus, when have I done that? Right? Maybe if you're talking 10 years ago when This Is How You Don't Play came out and I misunderstood it and I did that, uh, guess what? This is 2023, 41-year-old Phil. This is not, you know, 27 to 30-year-old Phil who's an idiot, who I've outright told you guys that my, my behavior back then was bad, right? So they all leave that comment. I'm not even kidding you. There's like 100 comments on the video like that. So then I watch the video and I praise it. Oh, now they post up, oh, you see? 
Phil did this just because now he's trying to get clout in the Street Fighter community. He's trying to be nice with this pro player. So it's just his evil plan to do this. It's like, wait a minute. So if I hated the video and said, it's a piece of crap, how dare you do this? That was bad. But if I like the video and I'm nice to the guy who made it because I think it's a great video, that's also bad. So literally my existence, no matter how I react to anything, no matter what I do, how I play a game, how I respond to anything on planet Earth, is wrong to those people. Yeah. And the problem is there's thousands of these idiots on the internet who think that. And it's driving me nuts because I'm just trying to do, put out fun stuff for you guys. As you know, I've tried to change to be a better person, but this mob mentality of brain dead idiots is pretty bad. You know, like no matter where I go or what I do, they stalk me, right? They absolutely fucking stalk me around. Here's a video that's actually positive saying, listen, Phil is not bad at fighting games. I'm a pro player. I'll tell you why. He made a lot of mistakes. Here's his mistakes. Here's how he can improve. Here's how you can learn from it. A great video. Let's crap all over it and say that Phil is a piece of shit and everything. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Has it, it, no matter how I, what I do or how I respond to anything is bad, right? And I'm not saying this is you guys that are here right now. I'm just kind of venting right now. Because it, it's, it's really starting to anger me. It really is. I'm trying to vent now. It's starting to anger me that I can't win no matter what. I'm doing it wrong. Well, then, well, fuck you. If you think that no matter what, I'm doing it wrong, then don't watch my content and go get fucked. Like, I, seriously, you're wasting everyone's time. You're such a toxic fucking individual to, to say shit like that to someone. That no matter what they do, they're, they're bad and they're wrong. Well, then, you know, fuck off. Go do something else with your life. But that's the problem. There's become this viral group of people. There's like tens of thousands of them. They watch all the hater content. They watch the restreams. They go to any positive video about me. They crap in the comments. They're just sick. These are sick fucks. And they're all over the internet. It's pretty bad. You know, like I don't, I don't even know what to do about it besides ignore it. But every once in a while, I got to talk about it and at least vent about it a little bit. It, it, it makes me feel at least a little better to get it off my chest, you know. And it is. It's fucked up. Like, tell me what I'm doing wrong right now, right? That That's so heinous. What have I done? Really, what have I done to, to, for the, to have the ire of the internet on me like this besides the fact that they get laughs out of making fun of me for shit that's not true? Because that was the thing. The day that video came out, everyone crapped on it. Oh, you see, Phil's just going to be a piece of shit and he's not going to listen to advice and he's going to crap on this video. So then the opposite happens. Oh, you see, well, that's because he wants to ride the coattails of the fighting game community and get... It's like, wait, 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 what? So neither one... You know what I'm saying? Either one, so fuck off then. Then you have nothing to add. You don't have criticism. You don't have anything to say. You're a loser. All you do is crap on me no matter what. So your, your argument is invalid. It's completely invalid. <laughs> if you... If you are someone who says, because I don't like you at one point because of something you've done, I will literally never, ever, ever believe that you can change for the better. I will never give you the benefit of the doubt. I will never give you a chance. I will just spend the rest of my life crapping on you because you did something I didn't like at some point. Dude, you need to go to a doctor. Like, seriously, just go straight to the, straight right into a fucking, like, you know, psychiatrist's office right now. Like, what the hell kind of a life do you live, right? It's just crazy. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I'm just venting because I need to. You know, sometimes for my own sanity, I need to talk about these things publicly. But it's just wild how insane these people are. You know? Now, the funny part is, they'll make a video about this. They'll clip this and make a video about it. Oh, you see, Phil ranted. No, if you made the clip about this, you actually are proving my point even further. But the thing is, these people are so nuts, they don't get that. They actually think, because then it's just this self-cycle of toxic hate. They don't get it. They're actually proving my point right. And then they just keep making the same kind of really unhinged, brain-dead, toxic content. It's, it's nuts, you know? Anyway, when you guys ask me, why don't I have any kind of involvement, all right, with anyone? Why don't I collab? Why don't I do this or that? This is exactly why. This is literally the reason why. Because anytime anything positive happens, those toxic people go over there and try to ruin it. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's just why. Why can't Phil have sponsors? Why can't Phil do, do a collab with someone? Why can't Phil do this or that? This is exactly why. Because these toxic people are fucked up. And the thing is, if you're only here, you wouldn't even know that. If you're only in my chat, I keep that shit out. So you wouldn't even know that that cloud is out there. But they're just nuts. I'm sorry. There's no other description for it. Real people don't act like that. Mentally sound, whole people who have lives and, and things going on for them don't act like that. 
this unhinged content, that's unhinged behavior that needs an analysis by a professional. Anyway, um, I got it off my chest. It is what it is. I'm not going to ever stop those people. I mean, it's the thing. Like People say, well, do you think it'll ever go away one day? No, I actually don't. Because the more I ignore it and the more that I've changed for the better and moved on from that shit, right? It, they've just continued in their own toxic circles to perpetrate it further and further. And it certainly doesn't help when you have bandwagoner idiots who see opportunity to jump on the bandwagon to make money and they milk those people and they just whip them up into a, a even stronger fervor over and over over nothing, right? So... You know, that's what I mean, but, oh, but it's all fine. You know, we can just do whatever we want, make fun of people on the internet, and there's no repercussions for it. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt anyone, right? Yeah, of course, it doesn't hurt anyone. It only just fucking ruins entire lives when you act like that, but, you know, as long as you got paid for it, right? That's how these people think in their heads. You know, the keem stars of the internet, this is exactly how they think. I don't care. All I did was I just talked about it. No, no, you didn't. You riled up the hornet's nest of fucking weird people, and now they won't leave me alone no matter where I go or what I do. You know, it's pretty fucked up. But anyway, I digress. I'm done talking about that now. I got it off my chest and I'm ready to jump into Zelda.